of the map. Stun does not see them inside the pit. There's no checking being done. Happily Wait. pulled it off. Arrow now sees it. All right, Baron is down to about one third HP. The Shaco clone could be the thing taken low. Baron's gonna be secured. Moon grabs it, but they've already lost high. Are they gonna lose anything else? Arrow goes over the wall. Full man mode, baby. Double kill. Can he make it a triple? Yes, he can. Arrow going off. If Arrow did not check this, like if he waited another second or two, Blackwood probably gets out clean. Instead, Arrow has the sense. He sees everyone's missing off the map for quite some time. Goes in extremely aggressively, cleans up three kills. And he's going to be so powerful in this game once in a while. Big news hit the LCS this week as Doublelift is back and about to hit the stage with Team Liquid. Week 7 of the North American LCS starts right now. Because he takes the next one down. Double is still going low. Goes straight forward in with a hook shot as Sarah pops the zone to avoid the true chopper run. Chubb's gonna land perfect from Piglet. And now Team Liquid still chasing under for the tower. Dive hookshot lands in. Apollo is down. That's gonna be the eighth for Team Liquid as Double Lift grabs a triple kill. They just keep chasing. Yeah, exactly. The Sheen would have been nicer because of all the Qs he's landing, but the pickaxe is the immediate Oh no, right now Piglet. It's gonna be a solo kill here for Ninja. I think needs one last auto ignite. Is now, but Chrono breaks out and Rainover. Rainover might die if he falls too far. He's got Matt coming in, but the time when is almost gonna take him down. Exhausts him from Matt, but the shield lands back in. Ninja could oh. turn it back around and Hakuo gets the second kill. Ninja just turns it on right there, being able to get the solo kill under the turret. And from behind, Team Liquid gonna try and make a stand. Long range attempts here from Lolo, no snare there from the Gen W. Rainover looking for it as well. Lolo already popped the ulti, but a good kick out there from the Poppy. Lolo goes back in, Redemption is down, gonna try and heal the rest of Cloud9, but Contract already goes down. Jensen up to the side. He's gonna get the damage down as Sneaky takes out Lolo. Now 4v4 of C9. We're gonna try and close it out. Matt just goes down in an instant as Sneaky gets the double. And Cloud9 gonna leap forward. Piglet now caught out. He's gonna try and fight his way up and force the bottom lane and then almost immediately using the teleport to go back up top. But credit to Team Liquid for being in position to stop that. And now Matt, it's just mid lane. Whimsy might be enough for the Aussie's down. Almost burst down Piglet, but. Doesn't have enough after the health from Matt's ultimate, but Jensen fades us back in, slaps Matt in the back, it's sneaky. He's gonna look for the snipe, it's close, oh. Matt, oh! Doesn't get two, but he gets one right over. Love convergence thrown in, nobody wanting to jump on it just yet. Keith and Acadian, Acadian gonna be finding himself hit by the dredge line. Someday soaking a lot of damage though, gotta be careful. The builds are full, the damage is real, Looper and Someday both on the front line yet again. Acadian gonna be wild growth. Chaser popping the edge of night, popping the ult, looking to fight right now. If he can, Gain gonna be forced away. Keith caught out, having to get himself back further. Keen popping the Zonias, looking to jump right back into the fight. There comes your Chrono Break. Keith is again hooked up. The damage comes through, but Keith persists. Dignitas trying to find Akkadian. The Guardian Angel will be lost onto Keen. Keith still fighting, but finally goes down to law. He's the only casualty of the fight. Ghost played in, we actually want to right here. He's popped himself back down the bottom lane. Lolo here as well, but Jensen and Piglet doing it out again. Charm lands in. Jensen gonna try and outplay a shield from the parallel conversion as the proto burst lane, but Contract tries to make it happen. Piglet gets the first one. Smoothie gonna try and shut us down. Double it. Gets an assist on the attack from the ultimate, and Smoothie grabs the shutdown. The turret trait was the mountain, so this is even faster of a Baron take for them. As uh, he comes in the back, as Ray dives oh, back on the man, he doesn't have ultimate. Baron's already down. Jensen dives in, does get the first kill. Now Piglet's gonna get locked up. He'll keep chasing, but Lolo's here with a decent flank. Jensen zips out with the ultimate. The Ray back in onto Piglet. Piglet flashes out to safety as Lolo's trying to fight. Sneaky there in the front line goes a little too far forward, but his team is behind him, and Jensen gets the next kill onto double lift. Now Rainover gonna get jumped on and dove under the turret. That should be another, another kill for Cloud9. There's the double for Jensen and a huge cleanup after the Baron. Top of the lantern making it very hard to clean. And now FlyQuest is looking for Infernal Drake, which will be their first of the game. And this would be a big one for them to get. FlyQuest looking to turn for the fight, but they're in the GP ulti. Limit Nation trying to tank everybody up, but he's not a very tanky Maokai. Moon gonna be forced to jump back. Ryu jumping all over the place, able to make multiple kills happen. Four down on the side of FlyQuest, and Phoenix 1 have found a fight and a triple kill for their AD carry. FlyQuest did not get into the front line and goes down to Bjergsen. Two for one there for Envy, but it's a bear for TSM. Positive trade for them overall, unless Envy can get something more done. But they're actually looking for the chase down here onto Seraph with a double cloud. Turtle's got the arrow, looking for a fight. Seraph snipes him and kills him. 
Oh, it's rare you see the Ash Arrow get that kill. Backing off, but he may be trying to bait him in for Moon. Look how long the Seed lasts Moon and Videos are both here, though. High's gonna be egg. Stunt also showing up. High is going to be the only casualty so far. Ryu keeping himself alive nice and easy. Moon's gonna be forced back. Should be able to get himself away, or is he? Video still in hot pursuit. Volatile Spiderling shot off. Oh, he's not gonna be finding it. There's the cocoon! And Meteos is on a rampage. Despite any gold of his might be, Chaser on the hunt. And it's gonna be another jump on his stick. Say he's gotta get it right. The nice knockup is there. Beautifully executed on the combo. Chaser gets the kill right in front of the dragon. Okay, that's Darshan TPing into four. Might get himself killed. The chase is in. They're gonna pick him off. Actually, Smithy just doesn't have the damage. He's trying to kill off a special, trying to get live. Keen gets a kill on Afmu. It's another fight just like the last one. It's a three for zero. Finally one traded back. Huhi limping on. Finally gets killed off. Smithy gonna stay alive just now. But the stun is there. And again, the ace this time. Oh. Only for one kill back. My goodness. CLG very obviously overstepping and giving away a ton of kills against Jin ranked up there, but TSM sending multiple members up too. Yeah, I like this play here. Now Seraph gonna get locked in. Bifrost already there. Sven's carrying in as well. Hakua trying to heal him up, but Seraph stunned by the hookshot. Decent equalizer. Zonis is good, but should be taken down. Hansa now on a rampage. And Ninja's trying to get up here. Oh, oh nice shot shot wave. Wave. Catches two. Bubble only gets Sven's scaring though. Hansa flashed out. And then also force plays when they feel like I mean now Envy are back on the offensive. Ponza has a long way to go to try and get out of this one. Seraph commits the ultimate. Good oh, oh, oh. is. I did not know the interaction worked that way. It actually took the cooldown yeah, too. That feels he just, bad. He just straight immune it. Get them to walk out of the rest of the cone. And now they have no chance to actually contest as that was the Jin ultimate, the equalizer, your jungler is dead. They should just back off and accept this. Maybe even shut down make it some damage there. Ooh, shut down! Good pick on the turtle by Ninja, but Drake's still over the TSM. Looks like they're sticking around. They still want to try to get something done. Been scared a little too far forward. Good all there from Hakua. Gonna set it up. He actually knocks up a couple there, I think, but Seraph his flame spittering away. Apollo now knocked up as well. Hooked in by Haunter and Biofrost. Should be able to run back in and finish it off. Bjergsen with the ultimate able to get it down. Ninja's and Bennett Ninja still doing. Are still going in. Hook should be there. Haunter's gonna walk up. Ninja forced to flash away. Charm is gonna buy him a little bit more time. But Haunter is just not done. Lumbering forward on the Nautilus. Caught up again, but he's still moving forward with the Mercury. Oh, this is the hook. Finally, and the play ends. Oh, but the fight is not over yet. It's TSM want to force around Dragon, and this could oh, be risky. Oh, Hakua caught. That's going to be good damage on the Zara. Good flank from Seraph, but he's got no ultimate. Bjergsen going to try and keep it out. Though. Burning him down. Bjergsen actually is going to fall. Seraph able to get the kill. That's a crit on the Lulu to take it down, but Turtle is just going to take him down. The tank of the AD carry are enough for TSM. The power of the Nautilus team fight there at the end. Hotzer was was huge. Figured it the end literally in this game. 5-1 and 8 really took over. I, I think he deserves so much credit for this series. Played extremely well. Games 2, Games 3. Crashed by some time. Nice shockwave on top of Aphromoo. Knock him out of Jensen as well, and he's still not going to ult away. Now he's going to go back on top of him. And here comes Equals, but it misses entirely from Ray. The trade on Horzuhi. Can they get the damage? Not quite just yet. The kill comes in, but Ray did knock down Xmithy. So one for one so far in the mid lane. Top lane still going down as well as. Oh, oh, here comes the push in for contracts. So Flash gets himself away, and the trade kill comes in for Darshan. Damage. So that means as we have less and less games to play, hold on. A lot of damage coming through to Pomoner, but look how much damage he's got. They're gonna jump back in onto it. They're gonna bring a Shen delivery. He gets the solo kill before it even happens. Yes, the three Pomoner's still alive. Moon can't get anything done. Darnock's coming Ole as well. Pomoner's still alive. Another shield. Balls can't kill it. Three what? for zero. Triple kill to Pomoner. And he's still alive. He doesn't go down there. Blasted them apart. Shout out to Ole, the kill leader of the game. Yeah. He's making it work too. Like for the frost thing. Oh! oh no! No! Why do people flash in the same line? The fourth kill for Ole! And he gets away from the trap, he's good. Ole! Playing through his safe side to drag him that jungle. He's gonna have to jump again pretty soon. Channel's gonna keep him alive. And here comes the play on the high flashing four. Todd is there. Counter engage is still gonna be first blood through the flame. Moon can't get much more. Pass to repel. That was a well down. explosive cast. But you're right there back in this one. Double kill for a flame, beautifully played by Immortal. Nicely done, Flyquest do find at least a kill. But Dardock is here, Dardock has enough damage, he has the ultimate, he pops it. There you go. Alright, high hash shock. Low. He's gonna make the sick play, Shockwave finds a little bit. 
Yes, Derek's pops and goodbye, Moon! The Cadian's got the ultimate to make this happen if they want to go all the way in for it. Petrifying Gay is going to be sidestepped. It's all up to Frog and now, and he's got the kill. Getting himself away, but now Kled sounds the horn. Looking to grab the revenge the on this. Can he do it? He's got the jump! Oh, Frog is going to be chased down! Sig needs just a little bit more of the bear trap Frog. Joust into Joust. A little bit more will do it. Meteo's looking to chase it. Can't quite find it. The Flash and the ulti having to be used. Wild growth onto Meteos to keep his path and save. Arrow now in a pretty forward spot, but Gage gonna be jumped on. A rampage for Arrow. Ryu popping the shield. Acadian drops. Keith is gonna be dropping. And Arrow is a triple kill now in this game. 10, 2, and 7. He's got a triple kill. Now had Arrow in the bottom lane, from top, and now he's just sitting mid with stunts. So with this much movement, you expect something to start breaking because you're kind of changing the comfort level of the game. Not to mention with Drake up right now, we're gonna see some action! Whoa, ho, ho. Frog and grabbing the burst onto Arrow! He might be low mana, but he's not out! Stand United gonna be used, keeping him safe! Acadian now looking to make yet another play! Stunt gonna be taken down next! Off for them, they can't do anything about it, even though they've seen it, and it's gonna be a play on the opposite side of the map instead! Oh, so Sean, he's a little too early! Is it gonna be a nice for Smithy? Yep. Gotta get the auto attack, gotta get the ulti across as well! Darshan almost outplayed it even better than he did! Uh, but Double Lift delays impact with that Deadly Flourish. And now we're going to get the, the moment. I think you're right, Pastry. I think uh, you died in Red Buff. Oh, no. Yeah? I mean, it's going to sneak up on you. You're reloading. I mean, really, it, it could happen to anyone, one would say. Oops. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that just happened. You have your Broken Shards who died a red buff and your Double Lift. Basically the same tier of player is what we've just learned.